So if you have a 2012 F-150 and the rear sliding window doesn't slide open like mine since I bought it, probably after two years it stopped working. I'm going to show you how to fix it. And if you've tried to change the fuses, you've tried to look for the relays under the hood with no luck, here's the reason why. It's this little switch up above in the headliner. There's a relay in there that gives out on you. And it seems to be a common problem, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. First of all, you're going to take your handy little pry bar like this or a screwdriver whatever works best for you and you're going to push it up up under this headliner attachment where your sunglasses go and you're going to have a little pry just give a little pressure until it pops and you're going to do the same thing to the other side don't worry you won't break anything it's meant to do this there you go it should fall straight down now you're going to bring it down slowly and you're going to see two clips, two, two uh, plug-ins that have clips on them. One is for the actual relay that has the three buttons in it. And there's a little button on the back that you give it a little push and you give it a little wiggle and it'll pull right out. That's the plug for your relay. Now the other plug is for the lights. And that has the same sort of clip on the back. You give it a little push, a little wiggle, and you pull it out. <clears throat> now once you have it down, you're going to flip it over. And you're going to take your, your sunglass thing and you're going to pop it open. So you can see the little clips inside here on either side. And again, you're going to take your little handy crowbar. You're going to go inside there, give it a little pry back towards, towards the front. That one will pop out and then you go to the other side and that does the same. Super simple. It's already almost out. You just give it a little tug like so and it should come right out. Now, if that doesn't work, there's also clips on this side that you can stick that little handy pry bar back against again. It's hard to do with, uh, with two hands. And the same with this side, if it gets stuck. And this little unit, close the glass thing, the whole unit pops right out, just like so. Now you have this unit. This little skirt here actually pushes out. All you got to do is push on these two tabs, this end here, and it'll pop right out, just like that. Sounds worse than it is, but it slides out. These two pieces here catch on inside catches in there. And put that aside. This is a little trickier. You might want a flathead screwdriver for that. You want to you want to remove this unit. From this whole whole setup here, the light setup. Now to do that, you can go two ways. You can take the whole light kit off, or you can go from the back and take a screwdriver and just pop those little pop those little tabs on the back, as you can see there. And I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to do the rest. Now I've come back with a flathead screwdriver. I decided to show you how to do this instead of just doing it and coming back and showing you the finished product. So there's four tabs, one, two, and then three and four. And you have to get in there with a screwdriver and, and basically just gently put it in behind there and give it a pry on the four points, just like so. It's hard to show. Once you look inside there, you'll see what has to happen. And literally, it'll just pop right out, just like so. It's that simple.
pretty easy, hey? So you take the old one, and you toss it in the back. You take the new one. And you place it back in the same same spot, basically. And then squeeze those tabs down. Give it a little push. And you'll hear a click when she's down in there. You can actually take a look behind. I'm going to be fairly gentle with this. You don't want to break anything. You'll hear the click. And then front clicks. You can look in the back for a visual that they've all clipped in place. In the little holes. Now you're going to take that that unit as a whole and you're going to put the skirt back on and again it, it basically goes back exactly the same as it came apart it's pretty pretty simple you put the front end like this and then you give it a push back you hear the click and that's it the units back together now you're going to take This, the sun sunglass holder and you want to want to replace this back in there I got to make sure I do this the right way there's if you can see there's tabs here and there's holes on this unit here and those are going to connect in first and you get those in there give it a little bit of a push back you got you can't go all the way you sort of got to try to push it in flat because there is tabs on the back here that it wants to get you in as well. So we'll go the other way. We'll put the tabs in the back and give this a push and then slide right back in. Easy. And you're gonna again you're gonna wait for the click. And both then give it a visual to make sure they're locked in. Both sides. See how they're locked in there? Make sure that the the sunglass thing will close. It'll actually only close when it's sitting overhead, so you got to make sure. Yeah, sure enough, it works. Okay, super simple. Now you're going to do this in reverse with the plugs. You can see here that that plug is going to slide right back in where, where it was before. And here's a click. You'll know all well, the lights on, so that, that gives me a visual. That it's plugged in properly then you're gonna plug in the relay switches for the sliding windows back in and again you're gonna listen for the click it wasn't as audible as I thought it would be but it did click give it a little tug make sure they're not gonna slide out from road vibration or something like that and then before you even slide it in you could probably give it a little test just to know that that it's working and sure enough it's working my windows working my top window sliding open when you do this stuff you want to test everything before you get it all back together Just so you don't put it back together it doesn't work which wouldn't be very good, eh? Then you want to take it like that, go straight up, and you'll see these these clips here are going to slot right into those slots up there. And you got to use a little bit, of, a little bit of force. You get a little, little, a little punch, just like that. A little punch. Don't do it on the door; it might break that hinge. Just on the outer edge, and that's it. She's done. Quick and easy. Just like that and I hope that helped you out sure gave me a headache trying to figure it out but over time you figure things out you get her done thanks